as someone who's been involved for a while in teaching computational thinking and programming to younger folks, it makes me very happy to be able to let you know about the new student content in SAP Learning. There's the Student Zone with learning resources and Students Corner is a discussion area in SAP community groups. In the new Student Zone, SAP provides all students with free access to learning resources and experiences, including SAP Learning Journey Guides and also opportunities for certification. Learn all about this new student content in the blog post from Igor. For those using Kima Runtime in the included service catalog, I wanted to point out a blog post by Marco Dorn that explains a shift to a more Kubernetes native way of doing things. Replacing the service catalog in the Kima Runtime is the BTP service operator. There are behind the scenes migrations happening and details about the actions that you will need to take for your pod preset resources. Later in the blog post, Marco Dorn goes on to explain the new method for creating services in BTP. Hola, SAP developers. I'm at the Al Supper Forum today, which is the Spanish SAP User Group Conference. And I'm here to share with you some exciting news about the SAP Business Application Studio. We all use and love. The low-code application development tools in SAP Business Application Studio are now available out of the box to all BAS users and also in the, B, in the BTP free tier. To try it out, just go to the Dev Space Manager and create a low-code based full stack cloud application dev space. And then everything you need to build your application visually will be available there. There is also a new mission available in the SAP Discovery Center. That is, if you prefer a guided approach on how to build applications with low-code tools in the SAP Business Application Studio. I'm including a link to Alan's blog post in the description below if you want to learn more about it. Great news for HANA Express users. HANA 2.0 SPS 06 is now available as HANA Express. If you are familiar with HANA Express, it's our lightweight version of HANA that's designed to run on your local development machine. But if you don't have a machine powerful enough to run HANA Express, we also have a free version of HANA Cloud as part of the SAP BTP free tier. So we've got good free options for you, regardless of whether you want to run on your local machine or in the cloud. So if you are a HANA Express user, that's a great time to go ahead and download and upgrade and get the latest HANA 2.0 SPS 06. Hi everyone. This is your friendly reminder that UI5Con is happening on July 7th and 8th. This is the event for all things UI5 and where you will meet and connect with fellow developers. And it was recently announced that this year UI5Con will be a hybrid event with limited capacity on site. And registrations for the on site part will open this Friday, June 3rd, 12 p.m. Central European time. But don't worry if you can't make it to Waldorf. All sessions will be streamed live. And I see you there. We are just kicking off June, and UI development is the SAP Community Spotlight topic of the month. Stefan Beck has written a blog post that talks about how UI5 has been evolving to benefit business users and developers. It has a great overview of recent updates to UI5 and related technologies, so be sure to check it out as a good starting point for UI Development Month. I and another developer advocate, Nico, have created the same app using two different styles, mine with React and UI5 web components, while Nico used SAP UI5. We are hosting a community call on June 15th to discuss the differences between these two approaches. Hope to see you all there.